All right, guys, and welcome back. We're uh, currently almost reaching top of descent, um, so we'll be uh, we'll be setting the parameters uh, to get the plane uh, in the proper descent mode. Meanwhile, what we're going to do here is getting the inform yeah, the uh, sim and pose. To be honest, we have to do that now. Um, as you can see here, the top of descent is really close, so we'll be setting here, for example, no, AT no ATC, so 4,000 feet. I'll set that to manage and uh, already uh, check that as the descent profile. So now you can see that the plane went into descent mode. It will slowly catch up with the descent path. As you can see, there's a little dot here that represent the VNAV and so the play will follow the dot right now and get into the bracket here that we have um, in terms of a speed range uh, so you can have that as a maximum this as a minimum um, as uh, the speed so the uh, plane will always try to maintain its speed between the bracket the, the two brackets here all right, so um, meanwhile, what we can already do is uh, we don't really need the uh, terrain on ND. Um, what we forgot to do before and will do now is that we forgot to set the transponder to uh, something normal and e eventually we'll do that below, but we'll take whatever we have in front for now. Um, we don't need the terrain on ND on both sides. Um, we'll get the weather on the second monitor, so on the first officer. Um, and we'll start presetting uh, the information for the approach. Uh, so what I recommend, I'm not sure we're going to get the information for Charles de Gaulle airports. Uh, we might be a bit too far. So we'll get the approach procedure and information a bit later on. Um, we'll probably do that uh, during uh, the once we cross flight level 100. Let me unzoom a bit uh, the current flight plan. As you can see, we've got here a restriction over that waypoint. Um, so we'll continue that video until this waypoint just to show you the uh, how the plane behaves with the limitation. And once we reach the limitation um, and the waypoint here, we'll speed up a bit, and uh, so which means that I'll cut the video and um, respawn in the video later on on the flight plan. Just to give you a bit of the procedure, most probably we'll uh, spawn back uh, almost reaching flight level 100. So let's wait a bit, reaching that waypoint, just to show you about the restriction, how it's handled by the plane. Uh, so for now we are coming from that Foxtrot Foxtrot 304, reaching that uh, speed limitation. So we'll be uh, getting that uh, applied just after we cross that magenta dot here. And the FMS basically will tell uh, the FCU here that we need to uh, get the speed below and uh, it will start decreasing the rate of descent, which is already doing, as you can see here. We're slowing our rate of descent uh, just to maintain here the uh, and uh, proper, uh, even well, stabilizing, just to lose the speed that we need. Uh, if we want to get uh, a higher descent rate, uh, you can use a disc to speed brakes or open descent, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, but open descent will obviously remove the brackets in terms of uh, speed range. But here, 250 is a maximum on over that next waypoint, Tango Romeo Oscar, and uh, which we are currently getting at. All right, so uh, once past the waypoint, uh, we'll pop up uh, almost crossing flight level 100. All right, almost there. Obviously, the plane is doing its job correctly. And there we go. We've uh, we're not within range. A couple of miles before we cross the waypoint, should have the information right there, where we at. Three nautical miles before we currently cross the waypoint. Two. 
and we almost are over it. And there we go. Crossing waypoint. Alright guys, see you in a bit uh, for cr to cross flight level 100. Alright, we're almost crossing flight level 100, which means that uh, we have a couple things to do. Uh, earlier I forgot to um, bring the uh, seatbelts on, so our uh, cabin crew could tell to the, the passenger that uh, they need to get back to their place as we're starting the descent. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, to enter a couple things. So now we're below flight level 100. Uh, let's uh, put the landing lights out. And uh, we have a couple things to check on the MCDU side and um, and a couple parameters to set. Alright, so we're still in descent here and uh, let's get information from uh, the Gold Airport. Uh, I do recommend you to get on the map, um, get information from the, uh, from the airfield. Airport. Um, so there we go. We've got uh, the information here regarding the uh, weather uh, conditions. Uh, so it's 10:25 uh, uh, regarding the um, Q and H. Uh, temperature is uh, not indicated here, which means uh, in real life it's currently 20 degrees. Um, so let's set that to 20. And um, the wind, so the wind, um, 0, 10, and 12. So the speed, uh, sorry, not, um, so yeah, so magnitude will be 10 slash uh, 12 for the speed. Transition level will be obviously 50, uh, so almost 5,000 given the current QNH. I think you need to change that to flight level 60 if it's above 28, 30, something like that. Um, Alright, so we've got information from uh, the arrival airport. Uh, let's set the decision height to 200. This is uh, the information you take from the charts from the uh, airport airfield you're uh, arriving to. And that's about it. Um, so we're continuing our descent. Uh, we've got that set. Um, we are reduced now the range and uh, we'll wait for the last turn to come up uh, before we activate the final approach stage for the plane. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we just passed uh, 5,000. Uh, let's go to standard barometer. Uh, out of standard barometer, sorry. And uh, as I recall, uh, the uh, Q&H should be uh, 1025. All right, so let's go back to the previous phase and now we're going to activate the approach. So approach confirm, landing systems. And uh, we now have diamonds uh, approach and we'll be uh, now uh, following the localizer. Uh, almost reaching now the 4000. As you can see the speed has started decreasing and uh, once we're on the localizer we'll uh, start uh, the uh, procedures to, uh, before landing. Uh, so the approach. Uh, so now I've uh, set everything uh, in terms of uh, lights that's already set once we've crossed uh, the flight level 100. Approach phase has been uh, activated. Uh, we don't need any NTI stuff uh, regarding the uh, temperature outside because it's definitely not icing freezing conditions. There we go. And uh, now we're slowly coming to the localizer. Light slope is almost reached and uh, we'll be crossing it anytime soon. Alright. So we already start lowering to flaps one. And once we're at uh, something like 10 nautical miles, uh, let's go and have the gear down. There we go, we started descent, so let's have the gear down now. 11, yeah. Okay, gear down. 
reducing range. We should see now the threshold of the runway since uh, we're reaching now the 10 nautical miles, uh, as we can see here on the left corner of the PFD. We've got our um, gear downs and uh, we'll be slowly uh, lowering the flaps uh, in order to get our final configuration uh, for the landing. As the checklist says, we need to now start setting the um, auto brakes. So we'll set that to low. And uh, once we reach uh, closer to the runway, uh, we'll set the fan. Uh, I can already set the uh, ground spoiler, so that's armed. Uh, let's go one step further. 2,500. All right, 2,500. Reaching now seven miles, seven nautical miles from the runway. We got a bit of gust wind, as you can see. A bit of variation in. It. All right, so if we wanted, we could use the configuration three, which is not what we want here. Um, and you would need to activate that button two to get the uh, conf tree working uh, for the landing. All right, now configuration three. All right, so let's warn the uh, cabin crew that we're uh, final, short final, actually final for the 26 right. And uh, let's get the flap full. And uh, now, as you can see, the speed has reduced and uh, we are reaching the target for the speed as... Um, speed, speed. Yeah, so all right, so, yeah. Speed, speed, speed. Okay, yeah, the plane is reducing. Speed. That's okay. It needs a bit of power to get that working. We got a bit of gust wind. Speed. All right. If you're not happy, speed, by the way, speed, that the uh, engines handle that, you can still get uh, speed, that man speed. that part manual. But I'm not going to do that. I'm still leaving it to managed. Uh, since we've got a bit of gust wind, I would recommend, which I've not done actually speed, here, speed, is um, speed. get the uh, AP disconnect button speed, speed. assigned to one of your controllers because it's really important. Uh, now I'm going to disconnect uh, autopilot and go manual. All right, I've disabled the warning. Speed, speed, speed. One thousand. Speed is still managed by the uh, auto thrust. Trying to stay on the glide. Speed, speed, speed. Approaching two six right. Approaching. A bit on the left. Oh, we got a bit speed, of speed, wind we speed. need to correct, obviously. Alright, reaching now glide. Just uh, get the descent a bit more. 500. Alright, we'll soon be below glide. Four. Speed, speed, speed. We're a bit of it. Speed, 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 speed. Let's get the. Uh, 100 above. 300. Glide slope. Uh, we reach again the uh, light slope. Will be a bit long on the landing, to be honest. Uh, Minimum. Marker. Sink rate. Speed. 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 Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Glide. Not really long, but it's okay. Uh, not missed landing. 50, 40, 30. Retard. Long Retard. landing. Long Ten. landing. Retard. Nine thousand feet remaining. All right, there we go. Reverse. Since we climb a bit, eighty knots. Brakes, reverse off, and we exit now the runway. Five thousand remaining. That was a bit of turbulence. Caution there. on taxiway, on taxiway. All right, now I'm reducing speed. All right, so usually you don't really uh, stop for that, but what I'll do is now taxi. 
Uh, I'll get the AP running. There we go. And once we've got the APU running, we can clear out the rest. All right, so let's get the flats, uh, the flaps up. We're going to take the first uh, gate available. And let's take that gate. All right, let's uh, bring the plane forward. All right, we're on the chevron. Parking brake on. Parking brake set. We're going to get the APU bleed on. Uh, let's take all lights off after the engines have been shut down. So let's start engine one, shutting down. Engine two is shutting down. Now the systems are reverting to the uh, APU generator. Nav off, beacon off, strobe off. And we got every lights off. Now we can get the seat belts off to tell the passenger they can uh, get out of the seats and get ready for uh, unloading the plane. All right, there we go. Um, so we are on the um, brakes hot. I could get the uh, fan cooling that down if I need it. Delay takeoff for cool down. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we should expect. So we can see um, the temperature of the wheels are indicated here, and uh, you do need to cool them down before you do anything else. All right, so let's clear the ecam. Uh, let's still maintain the fans uh, for the brakes, and that's about it. Um, once again. I hope that uh, series of tutorials helped you a bit on discovering the uh, TOLIS and the way that the uh, 319 works. I probably will do try to see if there is another way to do another series. Don't forget uh, that uh, current version is a beta, so there might be some things that will change in the future. Uh, at least for the version 1.1, which is, has not been released, it's still in beta phase uh, under testing for us beta testers for the TOLIS. Uh, I thought that was interesting for you guys to get that little video um, explaining a bit of the procedure that you usually use in the Airbus and get you acquainted with uh, the philosophy if you're coming from the Boeing world. This is never easy to get accustomed to a new way of doing things with planes especially. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate your support for those videos. And, uh, well, see you next time for other subjects. Cheers. Bye-bye.